Hi, I'm the Art Magician, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a 3D hand illusion. So I have some markers, a ruler, a sharpie, or any black marker like this one, but this one's really thick, so I prefer the sharpie or the micron. And I have a pencil, mechanical pencil, and an eraser. Okay, so first we'll start off by tracing your hand. Since I'm a righty, I'll just trace my left hand. My pencil. Don't go fast. Slow and steady. Wins the race. And draw lightly because if you need a race, it'll erase easily. Now I'll make some touch-ups and I'll see you back. Okay, so I have layered my paper with notebook paper so I can see the lines below it and so it doesn't bleed through my paper. And that's because I'm using a sharpie. Okay, so this is my straight thingy. I realized that my ruler wasn't long enough so I had to use this big drones. This is a good book actually. Okay, moving on. Just place it straight onto the top of your paper and then you'll use that to trace your lines. Okay. Okay. Just like that and you have a good line. And I'm gonna put that up more. Like this. I'll be doing this and I'll be back once I'm all done. Make sure you line your paper all the way down. But make sure you don't go into these. Hold on. Let me show you. Okay. So if you're at the fingers part, you got your pretend you're here. Pretend I'm here. So you would just only trace it up to the point where the fingers are, but then leave gaps because you're gonna make new lines. Actually, you're not even gonna make lines there. We're gonna make curved lines, which is also pretty, which is the way it's gonna look 3D. Just do it like that, okay? We'll see you back. Okay, so I'm now done making all of these lines. And this part is really cool when you look closely at it. I don't know why, it's just really cool. Okay, I'll go back up. Okay, so now we are going to make curved. You could do this with a coin, but I don't want to do it with a coin. I just want to freehand it. I know why I'm a risk taker, I know. But I just want to freehand it. So we'll just go, pretend this is the line we're working with, right over here. Okay, um, so if you would use a coin, you would just pretend this is curved. Oh, I just curved. Okay, so you would just pretend this is a coin. You would just do it like that, but, but I'm not gonna do it. Just trace it like that. But I'm gonna freehand it. So that's gonna look like this. And I recommend this with a pencil because um, this is curved lines. You may mess up. And just the other one, really curved. I'm gonna turn it that way. And yeah, I'll see you back when I'm done. Okay, so now I drew my curved lines on the fingers and now I'm just gonna go over it like this one with Sharpie. Okay, I'm gonna show you me doing that. Uh, you could also use a penny for this. 
Uh, I can show you. Oh, and guys, I forgot to mention, but you got, you have to keep it like this. You can't turn your paper like this because then the lines, the curved lines just get messed up. And that's like, that happened to me before and it's not fun. So you gotta keep it like this. And that's why we use pencil. But when you're tracing, you don't have to because your pencil already tells the right things to do. So just do it like this. And the next finger. And make sure your straight lines connect with your curved lines. Then it will look real. But I'm gonna include that in our touch-ups at the end of this video. Okay, so I'm done tracing my curved lines with this Sharpie. And now it it looks it looks 3D, but it's still not complete. We gotta do our touch-ups. So one of the touch-ups is um, you gotta make a line at this part of your fingers, but not over here, like over the here. edges. Yeah, at the edges. So let's just do that for the pinky. Yeah, like that. And then it will look 3D. But then we gotta do that for all of the things. So let's do that. Slowly, make sure you go slow and make sure it doesn't look sketchy. You can you do the other edge? Mm, no, if you do the other edge, it won't look as neat. Sure? Yeah, it looks 3D better like this. Or you can maybe darken the with other the edge with a pencil, but not as dark as like the Sharpie. You should so, try that out after you do the Sharpie. Yeah. So I already see it starting to get real, right? Mm-hmm. It's really cool. And at the thumb part here, you want it to reach up all the way here to like this part. And then this part. Just like this. see it kind of getting real and now as we were talking about last uh, a few minutes ago we said we would darken up this part so I'm just gonna do that with the pencil actually let's just do this after we erase it because we gotta erase our pencil marks if we don't erase our pencil marks then it just won't look as good I don't recommend this eraser. You need like a big eraser. So, yeah, make sure you get all of those spots and make it nice and white and clean. Right? Mm -hmm. They don't want to see, um, not they, like, if you look at it, 
you don't want to see like the hand outline. Oh, the pen. If you like it, you could keep it like this. I'm probably gonna do some Sharpie work right here again. Yeah, just like that. Um, some pencil. Yeah, and then I'll just blend it out with some pencil. It's starting dark and then blend. Just lightly making that. I'm, I recommend like three layers of graphite or lead or something. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now I am done outlining and making like that shadowy 3D look. And I'm just gonna use a blender. You could use your finger. I'm just gonna, if you would use your finger, it would like go like this. Basically same result, just using the oil from your fingers. But I'm gonna use blender because fingers, oil. I don't know. It's your choice, guys. Or you could roll up a paper towel and then make it a blender. Basically just using a tissue. see it start to get 3D now and it looks cool just like this you see the 3D look it's really cool this is a really fun project right super fun and it looks really realistic basically an optical illusion. Show this to somebody else, and then they'll be like, wow. <laughs> so yeah, I think we're done. Let me take this thing out, see if this is a mess that's underneath your paper. Wow. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Kind of, just kind of. Okay, okay, back to normal. This is your finished result, and it is absolutely beautiful and pretty cool. You could also use markers to color this in, but mm, I'm not gonna do that. You and colored pencils. Yeah, and colored pencils, anything like that you could use. Um, but I'm just not gonna do it. I like it white and black like this. If I was gonna do it, I would have done like this color scheme. Yeah, I like this. Maybe this one. Yeah, this one's good. Okay, back to normal. This is pretty cool. And thanks for watching the video.